I'm Anil Kumar and here is a practice question for you to graph quadratic function after finding the characteristics from the given factored form. So the question here is graph each quadratic function by hand by determining the zeros, x is of symmetry, vertex and y intercept. So you need to sketch a very rough sketch to find the graph of these functions but you need to calculate all the characteristics which include zeros, axisymmetry, vertex and y-intercept. Okay, So let me show you how to find these characteristics. We have two very special equations here. First one which you see is 4 minus x times x minus 4. We have kind of similarity here. So this is symmetric about the y-axis and here what we have is minus 2 x minus 3 whole square this is unique since it has only one x-intercept, correct? So that is how it is. So let's find the zeros first. So we know zeros for these equations are at at x equals to 4, right? So x equals to plus 4 for this one. And here I have to have minus 4. So x equals to plus and minus 4. x is, when you add them, divide by 2. That means plus and minus 4 is added. Divide by 2, you get 0. As far as the vertex is concerned, vertex will be y equals to substitute 0 here. So you get 4 times 4, which is indeed 16. So that is your vertex. You need to find y-intercept also. So for y-intercept, what we do is, oh, we actually found the y-intercept here by substituting x as 0. So, so let me just correct this. Okay, both are same. Okay, the both are same. So because <clears throat> x is, is 0, so we substituted 0, we got that. And for y-intercept also, that's correct. And for y-intercept also, we have to substitute x equals to 0, right? If I write x equals to 0, I get y equals to 4 times 4, which is 16. So both uh, vertex and y-intercepts are at the same point. So let me now show you the graph of this function. Graph of this function See, the y-intercept is, is 16 and the vertex is also 16. So we have a parabola which is opening downwards, right? This is higher value. So it is opening downwards. So we'll just sketch a parabola kind of like this, right? So we'll just sketch it. On your graph paper, you have to be more careful. However, I'll show you the right values. This value is both y-intercept and the vertex, which is at 16 and the x-intercepts is our minus 4 and plus 4, correct? So that is 0 for us, x and y. So that is how you get the first part. The second part, I'm leaving for you some exercise to do, uh, but I'll sketch this one first. So we'll go in the reverse order in this case. Minus means parabola opens downwards, so we'll just sketch here. And the 0 for us is at x equals to 3. So, and the y-intercept is when I substitute x equals to 0, I get minus 3 squared is 9, 9 times 2 is minus 18. So y-intercept is somewhere here. So it's kind of parabola which is, let us say like this, right? So that is the parabola. Where this point is at 3, the y-intercept is at 2 times 9 with a negative sign. So minus 18, right? So that is how it is going to be. So let's calculate the values now. So we have zeros at, when will it be zero? When x equals to three. So at x equals to three, that is what we got here, right? Double zero, since it is square. So that's why the graph turns and there's only one x-intercept. Now x is, since there's only one zero, you'll add three to itself, divide by two. So x is also at x equals to three. To find the value of vertex, we need to substitute the axis in the equation. So we get minus 2 times 3 minus 3 whole square. That gives us 0. So the vertex x, as you, as you can see, is at 3, 0. And to find the y-intercept, we have to substitute x equals to 0. So for x equals to 0, we have to find what y value is. So we say y equals to minus 2 times 0 minus 3 whole square and that gives you minus 2 times 9 which is minus 18. That is how you should be solving such questions and I hope these examples have given you good practice 
to understand factored form of quadratic functions. Thank you and all the best.